About 3,700 Coloradans have asked for their names to be taken off of the voter rolls. Since the Trump administration's Anti-Voter Fraud Commission asked for publicly accessible voter data from every state, including Colorado. Jenna Griswold is running for Secretary of State as a Democrat. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. You have been critical of our Republican Secretary of State, Wayne Williams, and his handling of the Trump administration's request. What would you do differently? Well, I, I think when we're talking about our elections and our voting systems, we really need to be careful because we want more people to vote in Colorado and not less. So as early as July 3rd, the Trump Commission that was asking for the voter information, there was legal uh, challenges to the federal request itself. So, you know, what I would have done differently is say, Colorado, we're going to wait and see how the legal challenges work themselves out and then decide what to do. And, you know, it, Wayne Williams really didn't change course until the Trump Commission itself asked the Secretary of State not to send over Coloradans information. So you would not have flatly rejected the request from the Trump administration? I feel that you do have to follow Colorado law, but it's not Colorado law to comply with a possibly unlawful request. So I think we do have to be extremely prudent when we're talking about, at the end of the day, our democracy. We're talking about our elections, we're talking about constitutional rights to vote. And so, no, I, I wouldn't say that I would not comply, but I would say, Colorado, we're gonna wait and see. We're gonna wait and see, especially because this Trump commission, you know, there's, it's highly criti criticized, and it's criticized for a reason. So especially considering what the commission is, considering the legal challenges, I would have waited and see. Uh, does, does Colorado law allow uh, an elected official to take a wait and see approach on an open records request based on the intent of the requester? Well, I think at the end of the day, uh, the Colorado Open uh, Records Act requires Secretary of State's other public officials to provide information, uh, to provide information to a lawful request. So I do think, you know, again, this goes to the heart of our democracy. There, there's no law to comply with what could be a legal request. That's what we're seeing now. Um, Wayne Williams did stop, and he's not handing over that information until we have more uh, information about the request itself. I think he stopped because the requester said, hold off while they work through some court challenges. I guess you would acknowledge that the information that he has agreed to hand over is information that you could get or that I could get if we yep. wrote a letter, correct? True, but okay. we're not the federal government. Uh, and I think the federal government, we shouldn't treat it like any other third party. It's a huge bureaucracy and it's required to go through its own laws and procedures. One of the checks that the federal government does before requesting state data is to ensure that that data that we give over is stored in a secured server. That goes to the heart of a lot of Coloradans' concerns, privacy. So I do think it is very important to hear Coloradans and to make sure that this Trump administration, this request, is following its own internal rules, the federal law, because our democracy, it's a democracy of rule of law. So 3,700 Coloradans have pulled their names off the voter roll since this came in. Who's to blame for that? Well, uh, you know, I, I don't think the Trump Commission has helped anybody. Um, this commission, it's based on the idea, the false idea, that there is widespread voter fraud. Absolutely no proof of this. Uh, I, you know, Wayne Williams would agree. Uh, I, I think he would agree. He has before. Uh, voter fraud, does it exist? You know, uh, we have laws in place in Colorado to suss out when there is double voting. It's extremely rare. There's only been a handful of cases in the last decade. Uh, but what I think we really need to be concerned about is Secretary of State Kobach, Secretary of State of Kansas, who has a history of racial pro putting forth laws that lead to racial profiling, kicking off eligible voters off the, the polls, off the voter list so they can't vote, and he's leading this commission. This commission is based on the falsehood that there is mass voter fraud, there isn't. And I think we really need to be suspect and we need to stand up and say, Trump administration, federal government, whether we're Republican, whether we're Democrat, we're Coloradans, and we are not rolling back our voting rights. We're gonna expand access. We're gonna make sure that more Coloradans who are eligible are able to participate in our democracy. It sounds like you and Secretary of State Williams are pretty much in agreement that voter fraud exists, but nowhere near the scope that is alleged by the Trump administration, that it's rare, but it is something that happens. Is that fair to you say? You know, I, I think there's been, you know, several cases prosecuted in the last decade. Uh, the issue is, is that we, we find those cases. We have the safeguards in place to make sure that our voting is safe and secure. 
Secretary Kobach, who's leading this commission, he, the, the data system that he uses to do these voter fraud sweeps, it's based on very bad technology. It comes up with a lot of bad matches, but at the end of the day, even if he comes in and, and puts a stack of bad voter matches in front of Colorado, the federal government can't take anybody off of our voting rolls, correct? Well, but we also need a Secretary of State who's going to say, federal government, your techniques are wrong. It's leading to uh, false allegations of voter fraud that doesn't exist, and we're not going to take your recommendations. As Coloradans, we're going to continue to innovate. We're going to adopt policies to bring more people in, get more people registered, and lead the way. So I want to step back because I, I heard you talk about a difference in style from how you would have handled this request, considering how the Secretary of State Wayne Williams handled it. But I'm trying to figure out if there's a difference on substance here. Sure. If at the end of the day, if the Secretary of State says, we'll give you everything that's publicly accessible to anybody else who asked for it, but you're not getting a single piece of data more than that, what's wrong with that? Well, there's two things wrong with it. Number one, it's it's the message we're sending. 44 states... That again is style, though. I'm asking about substance. At the end of the day, would the result under Secretary of State Griswold be the same as what we're getting under Secretary of State Wayne Williams, which is you can have the public stuff, you can't have the rest? Well, I think the result sure would be different. You know, in, there was a week-long period where legal challenges were coming down, but Wayne Williams didn't change his course. I would have changed my course immediately and said, Colorado, we have legal challenges as to this federal request. We're going to wait and see. In that week is when we saw almost 4,000 Coloradans cancel their registration, predominantly out of privacy concerns. So I, I think the substance would be different, but the style does matter. The style matters. This commission is a sham commission. It's, it's on all of us to say, we believe in our democracy, we believe in our elections, and we're not going backwards. That's what Republican secretaries of state from all over the country did do. You have the Mississippi uh, Secretary of State who said to Kobach Commission, to the Trump Commission, go jump in the Gulf. I don't think that's the style I would adopt, but I do think it's important to set the, the, the tone of the administration. And that tone is, look, we'll comply with the law, we're not going to bend over backwards, and regardless to any recommendations that come out of what really is a phony commission, we're only going to move forward in Colorado because that's the only direction Coloradans know. Uh, want to talk uh, in our closing minutes here sure. about uh, the campaign, generally speaking. How big of an issue do you think this is going to be in the campaign? Well, I think it's going to be a major issue. Um, it, it goes to the heart of the concern of where the federal government is going. Um, Coloradans obviously are very concerned. We have on, almost in a week and a half 4,000 people canceling the registration. Uh, and to all Coloradans, I would say, Please stay registered, and if you canceled your registrations, go back and register. Uh, because, you know, we make our decisions in our democracy by voting, so more people than 4,000 canceled should go register tomorrow. I, I do think it's going to be a major issue. There are concerns about the Trump administration. There's concerns about our cybersecurity. You know, we saw the DNC in 39 states were compromised in this last election. There, there's a lot of concerns about where the federal government is taking us and what it is doing. So I think at the end of the day, the state is the backstop to anything happening in the federal level. So cybersecurity, privacy, voting rights, and on top of that, campaign, trans campaign finance transparency. Uh, I also believe that we should be making the Secretary of State's office a business resource center, uh, making it easier for small businesses and entrepreneurs to work with the state and succeed. Uh, so, so I do believe that there are a lot of issues that distinguish Wayne and me. For example, uh, last legislative session, there was a bill in the Colorado uh, legislature to require anybody running for president to release their tax returns to get onto the Colorado ballot. I wholeheartedly support that. I'm for more transparency, not less, more democracy, more participation. I, that was a pretty highly charged political issue. I, this needs to be our last question sure. here. Um, that, that's a hot political issue. Uh, the idea of pushing back against the Trump administration, hot political issue. The Secretary of State, Wynne Williams, has, has kind of put himself forward as somebody who just, he runs the office, he knows how to run elections, sure. that sort of thing. You've never run an election. Why would Coloradans go from somebody who says, hey, I'll just do the nuts and bolts of the job to somebody who wants to play the politics of all this back and forth? Well, I wouldn't say that I'm playing politics. I'd say I'd, I'm standing up for Coloradans' rights to ha participate in our elections. And non-action is action also, right? Compliance with uh, possibly unlawful request is political. 
He was one of only three secretaries of state in the entire nation on both sides of the aisle who said it was a good idea for this commission to be collecting information. You know, at the end of the day, um, it is the Trump administration we're talking about, but any secretary of state running for office or in office, their number one concern should be open and fair elections. That's my number one concern. It's not Democrat, it's not Republican, it's a Colorado concern. Jenna Griswold, who is running for Colorado Secretary of State as a Democrat, thank you for stopping by. Thank you, thank you so much.